do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have studied the type of reaction one that was the combination reaction and now we are going to study about the type of reaction two for a redox reaction in this case we are going to learn about decomposition reaction so let us see what is decomposition reaction so before understanding the meaning of decomposition reaction in a redox reaction we should know what is decomposition actually so for that we have the definition as the reaction in which a molecule breaks down to form two or more components at least one of them must be in elemental state that kind of reaction is known as decomposition reaction and in this case the decomposition reaction is reverse of the combination reaction that we did previously so let me explain you by taking an example of a redox reaction in this case as you can see there are two moles of kclo3 potassium chlorate that is undergoing thermal decomposition to give two times of kcl that is potassium chloride plus three times or three moles of oxygen molecule so in this case if you observe the potassium oxidation state which is one it always remains one it will be the same as it is so therefore we are not going to compare the oxidation number of uh, potassium in this case but as we can observe the chlorine atom which is present in the reactant side it has been converted into two times or uh, two moles of kcl uh, as a product so therefore if i consider that the chlorine which belongs to a p block element and it has an oxidation state that varies so this kind of variable oxidation state of chlorine makes us to understand it that this can undergo oxidation or reduction so let us find it out the oxidation number of chlorine in this molecule so if i could consider then i could write in this way that the oxidation number of kclo3 is zero why because there is no charge present on uh, the kclo3 molecule so therefore i could write it as one times of k plus one times of cl that should give me three moles of oxygen and ultimately the overall value or overall oxidation number is zero for kclo3 so in this case as we know that the oxidation number of potassium is one so i will write 1 into 1 plus in this case the chlorine atom has which has a variable oxidation state and we have to determine the oxidation state of chlorine so we will make it as x plus three times of oxygen has an oxidation value of uh, minus 2 and ultimately i'll get the value of x as 6 minus 1 that is 5 so finally i could write a statement as the oxidation number of chlorine atom in kclo3 is 5 plus so this was for the chlorine atom that we have did but the thing is the chlorine atom should be for so in this case we have determined the oxidation number of cl in kclo3 but the second oxidation number uh, that is for chlorine in product is also remaining so we will determine that too so in that case we will get for kcl the value of x is determined that is 1 times of k plus 1 times of cl which gives an overall value of 0 so in this case the value of the oxidation number of potassium is 1 plus x is equals to 0 in this case we have got minus 1 which means that the oxidation number of chlorine atom in kcl molecule is 1 minus or minus 1 so let us compare uh, the oxidation number of chlorine in this case as well as we can also predict the oxidation number of the second product that is o2 so since it is in molecular form therefore the oxidation number of oxygen atom in o2 
will be zero. So let us compare the whole uh, that is uh, for the reactant oxidation number as well as for the uh, product oxidation number and let us see what can we get or which kind of red oxidation we will get. So the product that we have got or the uh, original reaction which was two times of or two moles of potassium chlorate which on thermal decomposition has given us KCl and three times of O2 as well as two moles of KCl. So in this case we so so in this case we have observed that the potassium which has a oxidation number of one it will remain same in product also but the chlorine atom which is in reactant side will have oxidation number of plus five while in product side it will have oxidation number of minus one and when I talk about oxygen atom then oxygen atom which has an oxidation number of I will write it as minus two is been now converted into oxidation number of zero so ultimately this phi is been converted into minus one so plus five oxidation when accepts electron then only it could convert into minus one oxidation state so therefore this process that is shown by an atom of a molecule is nothing but reduction but while if i talk about oxygen atom which has oxidation number of minus two it has been converted into zero so it means the electron has been lost from that uh, atom and hence it has been converted into zero oxidation state so this kind of reaction is said to be now oxidation so this overall reaction is a type of decomposition reaction the reason behind that is this one molecule is been separated into or is been divided into two more component of products and the atomic oxidation of one atom and the oxidation number of other atom the both changes one gets increased while the other gets decreased so this kind of reaction in a decomposition reaction is known as decomposition redox reaction so let me tell you an another example also In this case, I have used a water molecule which is going under thermal decomposition to give a hydrogen molecule and O2 molecule. So I'll give you directly a glimpse about this. This hydrogen molecule, as you know, that already has an oxidation number of plus one. While in case of oxygen, it has an oxidation number of minus two or two minus. While in case of product, it gives me an oxidation number of zero. While in case of O2, which is also giving me an oxidation number of zero. So if we compare the hydrogen, oxidation number and if we compare the oxygen oxygen atoms oxidation number then what we are getting is the oxidation number of hydrogen gets decreased and since it is getting decreased it is reduction while in case of oxygen atom the oxidation number has been increasing from minus 2 to 0 so this is known as oxidation and hence it is a redox reaction but the type of redox reaction observed by or that we have determined through this uh, uh, reactant is this reactant gives us two products and is being decomposed into two products that is in H2 and O2 since this kind of decomposition reaction where it gives a kind of redox reaction by the atoms of a single molecule two different atoms of a single molecule this kind of reaction is known as decomposition reaction so I hope you have got an idea that what is decomposition reaction so please share this video with your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much